And Alex Cora is going to play an ace <laughs> for the eighth inning. 4 1 Boston. Chris Sale is on the mound. He pitched out of the bullpen in the division series last year. Different circumstances in that game. He entered the game in game four with the Astros up 2 1 in that series. And with the Red Sox down 2 1. He came in for Rick Porcello. Remember that game? Justin Verlander also pitched multiple innings out of the bullpen. Greg Kimball gets up just in case. Sale took the loss in that game. Different circumstances this year. A three run lead to protect. And the scheduled game five starter, if necessary, is on the mound to face Glaber Torres to start it. Strike one. He was outstanding in his start in game one. No runs given up in the first five innings. Got a couple runners on. The relievers gave up a couple of his runs in the sixth. Yankees have not had a leadoff batter reach base in any inning in this game. They are 0 for 7. Leading off an inning in the first three games of this series, the Yankees hit 423. Nothing doing tonight. Porcello to Barnes to Brazier and now Sale. The 1 1. Two balls and a strike. Torres, the eighth place hitter for New York. 8 9 and 1 coming up. Here's a 2 1. And a high fly ball into right center field. Betts is back on it, gives way to Jackie Bradley Jr., and it is out number one. Just missed the sweet spot. And Sale gets his first man. The Yankees are 0 for 8 leading off innings. It's almost like Sale took a little bit off of that pitch and kept it in the yard. Good communication out there with Bradley and Betts. So a pinch hitter now for New York. Brett Gardner will be lifted. You saw him on the rail. It'll be Andrew McCutcheon. Aaron Boone goes to his bench. Following McCutcheon, Aaron Hicks. A switch hitter. They'll turn him around right handed with Sale on the mound. Pitching in this inning does not take Sale out of a game five if the Yankees come back. Any traffic you would figure. Any base runners, and it's Kimbrell for a multi inning save at that point. But they're hoping, you know, the Red Sox are hoping this is a extremely big tune up for game one of the ALCS. And an extremely easy inning they're hoping for also. McCutcheon's 0 for 6 in his career against Sale, and a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes on the pinch hitter. And we're talking about a pitcher that missed was on the DL twice for sh left shoulder inflammation. Not only did he start game one relief here in game four. Sale returns September 11th. He's been building up his arm strength each start this month. Was the starter and winner in game one. And his fastball was humming along 95, 97 miles an hour in that game one start. 2 2 to McCutcheon. Missed inside at 96. And it's three balls and two strikes. Top of the order man, due next, Aaron Hicks, and then Judge. The payoff. Bouncing ball. Chopper over to third. Nunez a quick release and it is in time. And the Red Sox are four outs away. Eight straight retired by the Red Sox bullpen. Rick Porcello got it started. Five strong innings. Only four hits. One run. Our TBS total motion presented by Progressive. That'll, that'll be the bat you'll remember if the Yankees aren't able to come back. Sale making the pitch on a 3 2 count to McCutcheon. 
crowd quiet now. Top of the order. Here is Hicks. Good numbers there against Sale. Nine hits. And a spinner in there for a strike. Told his manager before the game, I'm ready. I will be available for you tonight. Alex Cora said it would have to be the perfect scenario, the perfect storm for him to pitch. And he's found it here in this fourth game. Oh, what a changeup. 8 9 1 oh. was his perfect position. Swing and a miss to get it to 0 2. Hicks was way out in front. You're expecting 95. And all you get is that good change up running away at 86. A three run lead, two outs, nobody on. Sale deals and a cold strike three. Chris Sale retires him in order with a strikeout to end the inning. Boston 4 1 to the ninth we go. The Red Sox trying to close out the Yankees tonight and go to the American League Championship Series.